Hello, I'm Philip Muggleston, and in this series of videos, we're covering the predictive capabilities native to SAP HANA. In this video, we're going to look at the Area Under Curve algorithm, which is new with SPS 11 of the PAL in HANA. Now, this is very useful for evaluating how good a classification model that you've created might be. Um, specifically, it focuses on uh, models with a binary classification. So, for example, you're looking for fraud. Is something fraudulent or not? So binary because it's either a yes or no, true or false result. Now, uh, there's some explanation, not a lot actually here about what this is about. If, if you need more information, a really great place to go is to actually just Google data school and AUC <coughs> and you'll find a very very good article that explains uh, what actually the uh, ROC the receiver operating characteristic and also the area under curve um, uh, so there's a nice uh, video again on YouTube that gives a, a more theoretical explanation of this and also you'll find a transcript of what's in that video now, what's actually quite nice, uh, I do recommend that you go and maybe uh, look at this, uh, this video. What's quite nice is at the bottom, uh, you'll see there's a link that allows you to access the uh, nice little uh, visualization that's used during that video. So I'm just going to click on here and, uh, and access it myself now because it allows you to, to get a bit more of a feel of how this works. But basically, the, uh, the um, ROC, or Receiver Operating Characteristic uh, Curve, is based around looking at the uh, number of true positives identified. Maybe these are the red ones here. And the number of false positives, uh, uh, or the rate of false positives identified. Things that uh, you think are true, but aren't. For example, the negatives are blue, so false positives would be the red ones that maybe are uh, just covered here. Uh, along with the blue. So maybe they're incorrectly identified as positive, they're false positives. And um, we can optimize this, in fact we can, we can move the threshold. What's right, nice about this graphic is we can move the threshold because the idea is you would plot all sorts of different rates across the distribution and then you can actually uh, use this to adjust the number of false positives. You see how it moves because we're getting now more and more uh, uh, false uh, positives. And you can see effectively the ROC curve is uh, this uh, blue curve here. And again, as we see, we move the uh, threshold. We can see our little red dot shows where we are in the threshold. And as we move that, of course, it changes. So the area under curve basically allows us to uh, identify the area, the amount of numbers of uh, uh, values that are below this curve. So not including the stuff that's out here on the right, uh, on the left at the top. So that is a actually quite a good way of uh, evaluating how good a, a binary classification model is. So identifying uh, uh, true and false, yes and no, uh, is fraudulent, is not fraudulent. So we can get some good validation on that. So you'll get the details of how you call the algorithm in the, uh, uh, in the uh, reference guide as always. Basically we've got two input tables uh, typically and two output tables. Um, so we've got the input data and the parameter table as inputs and then we've got an AUC table as output and an ROC table as well as output. So we'll see more details on those. Of course you get the signatures, uh, the, uh, the uh, data types and the order of the columns that you need to have in your input data and then you have your uh, uh, output tables as well and the parameter table. Not really many parameters involved with this, just the thread number, um, so uh, not too much uh, parameter setting necessary. And then we've got the output tables with our AUC on RUC and we're basically going to get a lot of name value pairs and uh, uh, false and true positive uh, rates uh, for different thresholds which again relates to uh, the different amounts that we would see that allow you to actually build out this curve which is you need to do the ROC curve before you can work out the area underneath that curve which is the AUC. So that's enough theory. Let's uh, get into some code. Well if you've gone to GitHub you'll know that we're in um, PAL 102 we have the area under curve uh, code. So I've got that opened up in HANA Studio and I've logged in as the developer user uh, because he's the one that's got the correct roles to be able to create and run uh, PAL algorithms in this HANA system. So it's the same kind of code we've seen before. Uh, we're going to create table types for our input tables and our output tables, two of each. Then we create a signature table where we actually put a row to reference each of the four uh, table types. So the two input, two output tables, say which one's which. 
Note that in SPS 11, the schema name is nvarcar256 and the type name is nvarcar256 and the parameter type should be varcar7. If you don't mention those exact values, uh, it probably still work. However, you may get actually an error message uh, just saying that the values aren't correct, but the, the thing actually still works. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, then we are going to use the wrapper procedure create as always uh, with the AFL pal. Uh, the AUC is the name of the algorithm. Again, always you find that in the uh, documentation. Uh, it's normally at the top here, AUC, and you can see it here in the calling example. We're going to create a procedure called P underscore AUC in our schema. Uh, and then we're off to go in terms of actually wanting to use it. So then we'll set up some data. Here I've just got a very, very simple example data set where we've got uh, effectively some uh, true, falses and uh, some positives, uh, some trues and falses with some kind of score. Uh, so that's what we can use as our input. And then we've got our two empty tables uh, we're going to create to see our output. No parameters to do really. Put the thread number in. Let's use as many threads as we've got in HANA. Of course, uh, HANA, it's uh, in memory system. It's got parallelism built into it. And when we use the PAL, we're working at the engine layer of HANA. So we can take advantage of that in memory, columnar storage, and we can take advantage of the parallelism within HANA. So these algorithms, all the PAL algorithms are optimized for running in HANA for data that's in HANA. So it's uh, uh, something you can tune, of course, uh, using sometimes some of the parameters. Then we're going to call that. So we're just going to call our P underscore AUC procedure with our input data that we created above. And then we'll get the results into our two tables. So we'll do some selects at the end just so we can see that. So let's go ahead and run it. And it just takes a second. So what we can see, uh, the first results table uh, uh, is the AUC value. So we can see here we have a value of 0 0.83 or thereabouts. Um, so that value is basically a score typically between 0 and 1. Um, so it looks like the, our area under the curve is, is quite a lot in this case. So we're probably uh, doing OK with our model. Of course, you could uh, uh, go to uh, quite a detailed level of analysis in terms of how you want to interpret these results. Um, so that's the AUC value. And then in the seconds results table, we can see uh, for each of the input rows, we've got a false positive rate and a true positive rate. This is our OC or our receiver operating characteristic. So this just gives us some background information for the values that were actually used when we created uh, our, our little model, as we saw graphically before. And then actually from that, how we calculated our area under the curve. So what we've seen in this video is how we can use the area under curve algorithm, which is new in SPS 11 of the PAL with HANA. And that allows you to evaluate the performance of a classification, uh, specifically when you're working with things like true or false or yes or no. Um, for example, looking at uh, maybe an insurance claim, was it fraudulent or not? So that's the area under curve algorithm.